folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Uh, so it's uh, Wednesday, April the 8th, and uh, here in central Oklahoma, the uh, nectar flow is in its upswing. And uh, I've been coming out here on the weeknights after work uh, when I've got time to do a little bit in the hives, just a little bit of a time because I'm really far behind. So I've gotten all the hives down here. I've gone through all them, checked them for swarm cells the second time. And uh, I haven't found any new swarm cells down there. Uh, I think from when the first time I went through when I scraped off all that drone uh, comb down on the bottoms of those frames, I think that may have slowed them down a little bit on building their swarm cells because that's where they want to build them most of the time. Uh, unless they built them up in the frames and I didn't look up in there, I just took the box and leaned it over and checked it, cleaned it up again and put it back down. So I did that on all those last night. Uh, and I still need to do that in this side of the yard. But tonight, we're gonna get into high 15 over here. It's the uh, shortest, uh, it's the first one from the, second one from the right over there. And uh, it had swarm cells on my first inspection and uh, I didn't find the queen. So I went back in, I think it was the next day and I found her, I think it was the 31st of March and I moved her off in a nuke. And uh, so, there were swarm cells in there, but we definitely created a queenless hive there. So we need to check it out and we may be pulling some splits off of that. I do need to check on that uh, nuke that I pulled off because it got down to uh, 31 degrees uh, about four or five days after I pulled that split. So we need to check on them and make sure they're okay. And uh, that's basically it. So let's get started. Would you look at that? There's three hive tools sitting in the same location. That is a freak occurrence. <laughs> so here is uh, this nuke I pulled, split from hive 14. So it's number one now. And uh, I see some bees flying around there. Okay, we'll try and make this Short and sweet, in and out. So this is a two year old queen. And that's a very fast cockroach. <laughs> so this queen, uh, this split, I would not sell this nuke to someone because it's a two year old queen. I haven't sold nukes before. I'm gonna try and sell a few this year. if if I get enough splits and I'm not trying to make splits I'm just going to do them as they occur from swarm cells so I just want to get in here make sure the queen's okay and get out so there's uh, honey and there's the queen right there on that outside frame and she's marked green what in the world I'm losing my mind. I could have swore she was red. So here she is. Oh, right there in the corner. So let's, and there's eggs all along there. So she's laying right there. So let's uh, get her back in there. That was short and sweet. So I, I could sell this as a nuke if I wanted. It's a one-year-old laying queen, so. She ought to be ready to expand into a uh, 10 frame here before long. There's a good population in here. So the 31 degree night didn't hurt them at all. All right, let's go over to uh, number 14. And I did not super it. It's right there. And it's still got the uh, reducer on the big opening there in front. Okay, so this was a queenless, is a queenless hive because that queen you just saw came right out of here. And someone painted her green when I wasn't looking. So there were swarm cells in here and some of them weren't capped and I checked it a week later and they still hadn't been capped. 
some of them. So I went ahead and that's when I found the, the queen and took her out. So we need to see what this hive is doing about making a queen and if there are a lot of extra swarm cells in here, we'll pull some splits. I'm just kind of briefly looking for, in case I see a virgin queen. Now I'm going to just tip this thing forward and look from the bottom first before I go pulling these frames out one by one because that'll be the quickest way to, to make a decision. Show you what we're looking at. Okay, so here's the back of the box, tilted up. So this one, I did not clean the drone brood off. I just left it the way it was. So we've got two queen cells right here that are unemerged. Oh, look here. There's one that the cap has been popped off on that same frame. And here's a queen cell here. That's all I see right now. Oh, shoot. Oh, a bee just came out of that, but it wasn't a queen. Let's see if I can get a close up of that. Okay, so see that queen cell? See that little flapper there? That's because a queen has come out of there. So we have us an emerged queen in this hive. This one is one that got broken and looks like they just cleaned it out. But uh, we got a good cell here and here and right there. Well, I could make two splits with each one of these frames, but I need to leave at least one queen cell in here in case that other one there didn't mate that's in here somewhere. So there's actually a, a third one on that frame right there. So there's three queen cells, four if you count the one that's opened on that frame number seven. So it's frames five and seven have the cells. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back down, remembering uh, frames five and seven. Okay, so we know frames five and seven are the ones with, that we're interested in. Uh, that number seven that had that extra cell at the bottom, I may try and get that off of there and put it onto another frame by itself. Uh, I've never done that before. And this is plastic foundation, so it's kind of iffy doing that. So uh, I don't know if I'll be successful with that or not, but there's plenty of cells to deal with. Uh, so I'm gonna go get a couple of nuke boxes and uh, they're the tall ones that I made so I can put the swarm cells in without smashing them because I learned my lesson there. And uh, get them set up over here. And I'm going to start going through there and I'm going to pay real close attention for a virgin queen. So if I find that virgin queen, uh, I may go ahead and take all the swarm cells out and, and make, make more splits and take my chances with her uh, mating and coming back successfully. If I don't find one, I'll be sure and definitely leave us a swarm cell in here for them to requeen with. So let's get, let me go get those boxes and uh, be right back. Okay, we got our two nuke boxes here and you can see the sun setting. So we need to work fast. I'm gonna go ahead and shake these off just in case there's a virgin queen up here. So hopefully I'll find a frame that has some queen cells up higher and I'll have more that I could use because I would really, I really don't want to uh, leave this with no queen cells. Wow, they're getting agitated fast. That's funny, bending that uh, box over didn't bother them at all. 
Boy, there's a bunch of bees in here. My goodness. It'll be a miracle if I see a virgin queen. Other side was honey. This is uh, mostly pollen right here. Brood frame. Well, they're certainly acting like a queenless hive now. My face is covered. Golly. Okay, I'm back. Already got stung twice. Should have worn my full suit. So this is uh, frame number five. This is one that has our swarm cells. Some of them. So there is too many bees and too little time. So I'm gonna leave this one because it's got the one. And I've abandoned looking for a virgin queen bee, as you might have guessed. I'll look real quick on this frame. So this was a blank I put in there and they're drawing it out. Man, look at all those. So that's a good frame to uh, just put in the hot in a split here to, to shake out. Problem with shaking out, you know, and shaking these off or just moving these frames. I could uh, be moving a queen, that queen over there without seeing her. So here's our uh, one with the uh, other cells. So I'm gonna put this over there into one of those nukes. Just by chance looking to see if I'll spot that virgin queen. Thought she might still be on that frame where she emerged from. So I'm gonna try and get one of these uh, off of here. So I'm gonna go for this one right here. It's attached to the wood, sticking out a little bit. I think I can get it with my pocket knife. Yes, we got it without damaging it. I can't see the larva in there. So we will use this. I gotta set it somewhere I don't mess it up. So just to record, we got two queen cells left here. And this is the one that was already open. So I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna shake in this frame of bees right here. I'm gonna mark this frame with this blue pen so I know which one had the queen on it or the cells on it. Okay, we got a queen cell here and I got two uh, nukes I'm gonna fill and I'm gonna put that queen cell onto another one of these frames. I'm gonna try. <laughs> It's a good frame with lots of bees. I'm just going to shake them off and then I'm going to work on getting that queen cell on here. There is a bunch of bees in that hive. I'm just going to go ahead and put this frame in there for now. So they'll have something to climb on. All right. Let's do surgery here. Okay, here's our queen cell. 
I'm going to push out this comb and implant this in there real gently like. Just create a little pocket for it. Leave the bottom of it plenty open so the queen can emerge. I'm just going to gently push it in there. Okay, it's in there. Now I'm going to push this comb back against it to hold it. And it's stuck in there pretty good. So that queen can come on out of there now. I can find it. There we go. So I'm going to put that hair in this other nuke. And I'm going to mark these so I know which one it's on. In fact, I'm going to put a dot right above it. And this was my other one here. Now we need to populate these up. That one is pretty good. This one needs a bunch. So we'll see what we've got here to work with. We'll probably have to go down into the bottom and get some frames out of there. So there's basically nothing on this. Just kind of quickly looking for that virgin queen in case we get her in the wrong box. And if we do, it's okay because we still got a swarm cell over here. I'm just collecting bees right now. So we got swarm cells, brood. We need to be sure we get some pollen over there and some honey. Here's a brood frame. So the one on the right there needs a brood frame. And this has pollen and honey as well. Man, I wish I'd find that queen. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave this top box here alone. I'm gonna go into the bottom now. So I'm gonna kind of scoot this over here. Ah. Let's see, I put that other frame over there already. All right. Get these two together. Whoop. Dang it. Let me do that. Someone left a comment on one of my older videos that said, Smoke the hell out of them, why don't you? <laughs> I am! They're all over me, can't you see that? Okay, so we want to get, uh, let's see, two, six more frames, fill those. And we want good frames in our uh, nukes. So there's good honey and pollen right there. In fact, that one's so fat, I'm just gonna put four frames in this one and I'll shake a frame of bees in there. Oh my gosh. I don't think that one we want. Man, look at that big old brood frame. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, there's another one right there. I'm gonna put this one over here. So we're gonna call that one good. I wanna shake some more bees in there though. I'm going to shake all the nurse bees off of this uh, brood frame here and put in there. Look real quick for a queen. There's no such thing as spotting a virgin queen quickly. I haven't had any luck doing it anyway. Okay, they're done. I need to get three frames in this one. So they've got a lot of brood over there. Let's leave this one for that. That one's brood. Let me check this one. It's a little bit on here. Go ahead and take this one. So now we need to concentrate on some honey. So I'm gonna skip these two and go right for the outside. 
Oh. Ah. Dang it. Yeah. Here's a good honey and pollen frame. And I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put this light one over there. I'm gonna shake the bees off of this and that other one. Ah! Dang it! Hate getting stung on the face. Ah! Y'all need to calm down. Mercy. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Okay, gotta go get some uh, frames. Get in here, get this thing filled back up, and get the heck out of here. Okay, got me nine frames. Dang it, right on the nose. How are they getting in there? Ah, oh, jeez. Get off of me. Okay. Get this bottom put back together. I'll put these drawn frames in here. I'm sure this is entertaining for you guys, but man, this one sucked. The big one. They were so gentle when I started and broke it open in the middle. What in the world happened? Three, six, nine. Oh, there's another one on my neck. Ah, ah, it got me on the ear. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Yes, I know. Ah, get off of me. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's backwards. It's my blue dot right there. Ah. Oh my God, that was horrible. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> so I gotta <coughs> put these two nukes. I'm gonna go place them over here. I'm not gonna video that. I'm gonna end this sucker now. <laughs> Man, why didn't I wear my full suit? Give me a thumbs up if you would, and please subscribe on your way out, and we'll catch you ah! Ah! on the eye. Ah! We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.